long COVID. Mm. Wouldn't you recommend quite, it. <laughs> <laughs> you had quite a bad experience with this, right? I did, yeah. What? When did you get COVID? I think around July 2020. So early on. Yeah, right early on. Mm. Um, we were hunkered down. We had our first child, but we had like a birthday party in our garden, family around, that kind of stuff. Illegally. No, that was when you were allowed like <laughs> you were allowed like six people in your garden okay, kind of right. thing. Anyway, let's not get the police involved, all right? Let's keep Kids it are chill. half, so that's you can have twelve people if they're only little <laughs> okay. half people, wouldn't they? Um I got like a coldy thing. Mrs. lost uh, her Taste, taste buds yeah. but we didn't do anything because again the narrative at that point in time was like stay at home you know whatever and then we just had our first child so our life was an absolute chaos we weren't sleeping we just put it down to just being really run down and then i wasn't quite getting that good a recovery in my fit i was like i'm pretty gassed but then i wasn't sleeping very good because i had a young child and stuff and then um i did a charity challenge on a bike and a couple of like I couldn't get back to fitness for a couple of weeks. I was like, this is really weird. Anyway, um, I ended up doing another charity challenge where we uh, tried to simulate the height of Everest okay. going up a hill in our local town because we were meant to go and support this guy. Did and you post that today? Was that what you posted last night or today? Yeah, so tomorrow is the two-year anniversary of me getting long COVID. So Got today you. is the I day. I saw it on your Instagram. Remembrance. So today us recording this is Remembrance Day. Yeah. That was the day we did the challenge. Yeah. So we did it in aid of that. And because of COVID, we couldn't go and do the challenge in Scotland. Um, is it Scotland? He was doing Ben Nevis. Is it Scotland? Somewhere. Anyway, bit, yeah. Yeah, we're not, we're One not of geography. Three peaks. <laughs> One <laughs> of the three peaks. <laughs> <laughs> so we were meant to uh, replicate this Everest challenge. Anyway, we did this hour and a half walk up, up and down a hill. Um, and the next day I just couldn't get out of bed. And I was like, oh my God. I'm a fit guy. My recovery is not this bad. And then it just went on weeks past weeks past. And I was like, this is really weird. Couldn't get out of bed. Felt like I was wearing like an iron suit. Like I was just pinned to the bed, headache, depressed, low, didn't want to, just didn't want to do anything. And then, um, obviously this long COVID thing sort of started to be talked about. So I was like, oh, this is weird. And I sort of tried to track back. And then, um, at that point in time, long COVID, everyone was just like, rest. Hopefully you'll be okay. Mm -hmm. um, that wasn't a good enough answer for me. So I then went on a personal journey of like, right, who do I know that can help me recover? So I went to a, a guy that lives very close to me. He's an osteopath, but he's also a Wim Hof breathing instructor. And he's a very holistic kind of practitioner. Mm -hmm. And I was like, all I know is I need support on this journey because I am fucked and I don't know how to get out of my own situation. Yeah. So I went and, and he was both a support to me and gave me some practical things. And it was mainly like breathing work that we did in the early days. Um, and yeah, it went on for about 14, 16 months, but then the symptoms didn't quite fully clear, but I didn't feel that it was a problem anymore. Like intuitively, because many symptoms can overlap, right? With yeah, certain disorders. That's right. So that's when I got my blood work redone. And I was like, fucking hell, my testosterone is really low. And then did my blood work again. I was like, well, it's still really low. So I What's worked low out of interest. What was low? Do you at remember that, te that point of test, it was 14.5. Yeah, that is low for your Previously age. Previously it was 20.5. So I've never had that. I wouldn't describe myself as someone having high testosterone. Mm. Even when I was at uni, sometimes I'd really struggle with recovery, struggle a little bit with a little erectile dysfunction, but not, yeah. not bad, just yeah. intermittent. And I would say it coincided with if I was like playing tons of sport and going to the gym, then it would show up. And then if I backed off, you know, it'd be all right. So kind of, yeah. yeah, the recovery thing. Um, so I worked with a guy that said, look, let's take some HCG for a little bit. That should shortcut the system and show if the testosterone is a problem. So we retested and then it went down to 13.5 and he was like, oh, you need TRT. I was like, I need a second opinion. I'm not just like diving into this. And that's when I ended up watching your podcast. So a friend sent it to me with Dr. Robert yeah, Stevens. Yeah, yeah. Um, had a chat with him and he was like, yeah, I think you need TRT. Like, you you know, you're all over the place. And I was like, but I'm not really low. Can I do it naturally? And kind of went down that whole kind of journey. So yeah, it took me another six months to kind of get to that kind of diagnosis. And I suppose as a point of recording this, I think I've been on TRT for two months. But um, mate, darkest two years of my life. Like the to be in that hard, cloud where you can't, you're not, you don't even feel human. Um, I can't describe it. Like it's horrible. 